Hey guys, how you doing? This is Memorial Day weekend, and I'm hoping you guys have a great weekend. Um, just can't wait to, you know, to me, I'm just taking it very slow. We've got a full weekend, but the jobs are all out of state. So I really don't have anything here to do except for kind of monitor and make sure everything goes smoothly. So I get to keep a, a very low profile weekend. I hope that's the same for you. Uh, you know, anyway, it's good. But today I want to talk to you about how not to be a professional mover. Then I'm going to show you a video here shortly of a professional licensed and insured moving company. And it's not to pick on these guys. I got to put this disclaimer. It really truly isn't to pick on this particular moving company from everything I, I can see about this. These guys really try hard. But there are some things that they did in this video which no mover should do ever under any circumstances. And I want to point out those faults. Now, to give this uh, to give this some context, this particular moving company has three different loading options. All right, they have loading option one, where they come in to your home um, and they they pack up all of your furniture and belongings. They put blankets on all the way around the the, the belongings, and they either use uh, professional rubber bands or plastic wrap to keep the, the blankets on and in good order. That's absolutely fine. Then they have option B where they come in and all they do is put the blankets in over the top and then again use use rubber bands to keep it from falling off. And then they have option C is that they don't do any pat they don't do any padding until they get it on the truck. And this is where I'm going to show you what not to do, because this is a hallmark of scam road movers. Not that they, not that they waited until to put blankets on the truck um, for a local move. Now get that, these are local move guys. These are not over the road long haul movers. So it's a totally different scene for local moving. We want it, we're trying to, we're being charged by the hour, we're charging by the hour, so the, the customers want us to do it quick. But there are some things which, if done, shows you to be a lesser mover, okay? And I just want to show you um, what they were doing that was incorrect, all right? And again, it's not to pick on this company. This company looks like it's a good company, but they, they unfortunately put this video up saying, hey, this is our standard. And if this is a standard, then I want to call them out on this particular standard, right? I know they've got three options. I understand it, and I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt. But this third standard is unsatisfactory. It's below standard, all right? And I want to point out, and if you, I don't want you guys to follow this example at all. So I'm trying to point it out for you guys so that when you go and actually do a moving job, you know what's a good job and what's a bad job, okay? And then you can accommodate the move accordingly. And again, I'm not pointing out, I'm not picking on this company exactly, I'm just picking out their, their particular procedure on this one job that they did a video on. So I'm gonna minimize myself and we're gonna go watch that video, okay? And I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna show you what they did wrong and what should be done. Okay, so let's go and watch that together. So let me minimize this. There, I'm down in the corner. Okay, good. Now, this is the video. It comes from Shirtless Movers, Minneapolis Movers. Again, not picking on these guys. Do not go and say, you guys are horrible, because that's not the case at all. This one video, they just did some things that were not okay. So let's uh, let's go to the video, okay? Hi, this is Shirtless Movers. Today, we're going to move a customer from Minneapolis to Minneapolis. Okay, so now what they're doing is they're showing you how they load their trucks. And it looks, you know, based on this particular uh, diagram, it's okay. I wouldn't, it's not bad. Personally, I would put all the furniture that you see here up front, right? This is where, because if you put furniture on the back of the truck, that is where the truck is going to bounce the most when you're going down. If you put it towards the front, that is going to be the most stable area of your loading area on the truck. 
you put it towards the back, the back is where you hit potholes and bumps and, and whatever, it's going to go up and down a lot. And that's where a lot of where a lot of your furniture is going to get damaged. So putting your furniture on the back of the truck is stupid. Put the boxes there, which have which you can put in and stack really tightly or, or things that are that cannot be damaged easily, like uh, grills. Um, lawn furniture you know metal lawn furniture uh your miscellaneous kind of thing you want to put that on the end because if that gets damaged or dinged a little bit it's not going to hurt it all right it's not going to matter but you put in wood furniture nice wood furniture couches it can get damaged and damaged very very easily put all your more fragile stuff up towards the front where there's more stability in the truck okay point number one We'll continue. High stack, option C, furniture wrap and style. All right. Now look how they pack this truck in. This looks like crap. Um, look at the, up here you can see there's a bunch of holes. Uh, the blankets aren't, they're very loose. Um, the, the this piece of wood furniture doesn't have wood uh, blankets going all the way up and down. Um, if it gets bumped or if it's next to another piece of furniture, it's going to get scraped and scratched. Um, I don't mind that that the the blankets are on there loosely. This is a, again, this is a local move. You're not moving long distance, but it doesn't matter if you're moving. You should still make sure the customer stuff is protected and protected right. So let's continue on with the video, and I'm going to show you a little bit more of what not to do. Furniture wrapping style option C is where we grab the furniture. Good. Now let's back this up just a little bit. Yeah, right about there. C is where. Okay, I get. I didn't go back further. Let's go right there. Furniture wrapping style. And boom. See, you got this big piece of metal. This piece, big piece of wood furniture. It's. First of all, there's no blanket covered in between the piece of furniture and the wall of the truck. That is that is rogue scam mover 101. They all they did is slap something on the top. And look, they got this washer dryer or some probably a washer. I don't know. It's got water lines, so it's probably a washer, and they put it up. No blankets on it. But not only that, look how they just slapped the, those chairs in there. They just threw them up there. I mean, they look like crap. It's all this, this jangled. It's horrible. They don't have blankets on it. I don't care what kind of option you have. That is unacceptable. C is where we grab the furniture. Put in it. Good. Also, you can see, look at all this space in here. They don't have boxes protecting it. It's not really Tetris in very well. Things are going to move around and shift very, very easily. Again, unacceptable. I don't care what kind of options you provide. That is still unacceptable. Things are going to get damaged. Look at the holes. They got holes in here. This doesn't have anything on it at all. Guess what? That can get scraped. Uh, this is a chest. It's one of those things. All right, I understand you don't put a, a blanket on that. But look at the hole. There's nothing in the hole. All this space that is unutilized. That means stuff is not packed in the truck tightly enough to protect it. It doesn't matter. Again, it does not matter if you're doing a local move or if you have an option A, an option B, or an option C. It should just be done and done right and done right every single time, right? If it means you take a little bit extra time, take a little bit extra time. This Get is what gives us movers bad names is because movers do lazy shit like this. Sure. Most of them have blankets over it. The chairs we put up top. Again, you, he's got like some glass stuff here, but look at the empty spaces in here. Yes, he's got some kitchen, which is probably fr uh, fragile stuff on top, which is good. That's better than nothing, but uh, so much empty space. They're non stackable items. And then here you can see the glass. Put all the glass up top so nothing crushes it. Yeah, he says we put the glass up top so nothing crushes it. Yeah, he leaves it wide open so it can shift around and smash into everything. Guess what? It's going to break, you idiot. Again, again, I'm not trying to pick on this particular company. They do. They have a series. They have a, uh, 
an option A, an option B, and an option C. This particular company, apparently, this particular customer for them chose the option C. I'm sorry, you shouldn't have options. You should just do it and do it right. All right? He probably has, for each op packing option, he has probably a different pricing uh, strata on it. Okay, that's the way he does it. Again, I'm not picking on it because it looks like he does do it. I, I checked his website. I checked his other videos. It does look like that these guys do take the time to do it right. But they should do it right each and every time. They shouldn't have options. That's just stupid. It's just stupid. And it's going to cause trouble. It shows you a really quick way to wrap. I mean, if that's an example of how to wrap up uh, dresser drawers, first of all, the dresser drawers should be in the dresser. You shouldn't have them individually wrapped. Not only that, look, he's got the mattress right on the floor, the dirty floor, so that it can get marred up and blackened by the, the dirt that's on the floor. Unacceptable. Anyway, we'll continue. A couple of drawers with the blanket. Okay, good. So, as you can see, if you were to open that up, if you were a customer and this was your move, and you op and they opened it up, and your stuff looked like that, you have a wagon over here that's just slapped in any way. This is slapped in any way. At least it's on the end of the truck, like I was mentioning, which is like that's better. That stuff is better for the back of the truck, the end of the truck. But if your stuff looked like that, how would that make you feel? Would that make you feel good? Does that make you uh, proud that you hired this particular company? Things are all, you got, I guess that's a dolly right there that's just slapped in there. And that's their, their uh, step ladder. But look at this. It just looks like crap. And perception in this business is everything, people. Perception is everything. It's unprofessional. Again, I'm not trying to pick on shirtless movers. I'm not trying to pick on them because I don't know them. They could be the one of the greatest. I think that they have, are doing a disservice to the customers by having the different packaging options. Why do you have different packaging options? Just do the one option and do it right the first time, every time, all the time, right? Do not have, and if this is a standard that you're setting yourself up for, it's way below normal particular professional mover standards. You do not have professional mover standards. If that is a standard, even if it's your lesser standard, that is not even close to a standard, all right? I'm telling you right now, professional movers that's been in the game are laughing at these guys. It actually hurts me to see this. This pains me to see this crap. Again, I'm not picking on these guys. These guys are probably really great guys. They probably do a good job for the option A and the option B guys. But these option C kind of moves, horrible, horrible, horrible. Let's continue on. Stackable items like those weights in there. Where's the customer? Now, we're going to go. We're going to start. He's going to go show you how he put the stuff in the person's house. All right? And, again, this pains me. But, all right, let's go through it. Drop off location. Here's all the items that we moved in there. Notice when he flips in here. He's got boxes right here and they're kind of caving in. That is what it is, but he puts them right in the way. The boxes are right in the way of the customer. All right, we'll continue on. The customer can't even get into the room. He just, they just slap the stuff right in the friggin' doorway. The customer can't get into the room. Stuff is on the bed. It's just placed anywhere. Oh, my effing goodness. Please, people. Stack boxes and furniture in a low in, in, into the corner where a customer could come in and easily grab something easily and carefully. They want to see that they can get it because now you're just giving them more stress and, and you're making them work hard. Your job is to make their job easy and make it stress free and hassle free so that they, they do. You can't even get in the door without having to move everything. That's ridiculous. They're hiring movers so that they do less work. That they're not stressed out. All right, let's continue on. Again, stuff placed right in the freaking door, right in the way. They have to move everything out of the way. 
the boxes should be off to to the far side of the wall, stacked neatly so they're not crushing one another. Um, furniture slapped up against the wall, neatly, easily accessible, um, so on and so forth. See, now they did this right. They put the coffee table there. They've got the two couches. There's boxes are not in the way. Um, that they did right. And I got to give them props for that. That's how it should be done. The furniture should be placed right where the customer wants it, ready to be sat down, ready to, the bed to put up. You don't, I'm not saying, hey, make the bed, put the sheets and stuff on the bed. Although if you did that, that would be an awesome, perfect touch. But they're... I'm just saying you should have the bed and the dressers right where the customer wants it. The box is put off to the side so they can walk in, especially if it's a long, late move. They want to be able to get into bed and go to sleep. You know, this is a, this moving is stressful for people. and They don't want to have more stress. You just added, like, hours of work to the customer to have to sort through everything, move everything up just so that they can get inside their house unacceptable people I don't care what kind of standard you're that is not a great standard this is a hallmark of an unprofessional rogue scam mover and these guys are supposed to be licensed and insured with some experience I, again I'm not picking on these guys they're the only reason why I'm doing anything about these guys is because they put a video up about it thinking this is a great thing it's not it's not even close to being good and of course, we left the customer with our signature bottle of wine. Now that is a cool, classy move. You left them a little gift, a bottle of wine. Because <laughs> trust me, after the way you left that house and you packed the truck, they're going to need that wine. They're going to probably need four or five bottles. But leaving a tiny gift for them, I think, is very classy. And that it does give you step, sets you above. What I would have done is like a whole gift package, especially if they had kids or animals. I would have left some doggy treats or cat treats if they have small kids, maybe some coloring books with crayons to color in. Um, obviously, uh, uh, a bottle of wine. I think that's a very, very smart. You, there should have been some coupons for the local area so that they could get pizza or, or uh, a nice restaurant for them to go to. Um, and it's easy. You just go up and say, hey, guys, I'm a mover. Um, and we're going to be talking about in our marketing strategy later on about that, how you can uh, cross-market your guys' service. But that, I think, is a classy professional thing. And uh, let's check this out. All right, so the guy folded the blanket up pretty good. Now, this stack of blankets is folded up really, really good. Me, personally, I have OCD, so if I see a bunch of different color blankets in a stack, I go a little nuts. But this stack is folded like crap. And, again, people, perception is the name of the game. All right? Uh, that is – it's mix-matched. It's off-centered. Um, it's better than nothing, but – I, my OCD drives me nuts on this. Um, it looks bad when you open up. If you're going to have the blankets there, move this stack to the back. Um, if you're going to stack it like that, this guy he did he did uh, he did uh, fold the blanket up nicely. Um, another thing is blankets should be blankets and tools and everything on on a move on a, on a local move that's being charged hourly. Blankets and tools and everything are put on the truck on the customer's dime. Never, you don't stop the clock ever until all the blankets and tools are put away on the truck. You took them off the truck on the customer's dime, you can put them on the truck on the customer's dime. Okay? You use the blankets under the customer's dime, you're putting them back on the customer's dime. If you don't do that, you're spending a half hour each time, minimally, just to fold up blankets and so on and so forth, which you're just which you're paying your people to do that you're not getting paid for. Um, that's a side note. Um, that's not necessarily a, 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 an either here or there, but just a, a so on and so forth. All 
All right, so that's the end of it, guys. Um, again, I'm not picking on these guys. I did check out their website. They do have a very professional website to come off as professional people. Um, and I did research this before I blasted them. Um, hopefully, they're not one of my uh, one of my guy <laughs> my guys, or maybe they are. But if they are, maybe then you can learn a little bit of something. Again, the things that I, I point out is don't have different options. It should just be one option, and that's professionalism throughout. I understand they're trying to save their customers a little bit of money. Hey, you want us to do it really, really fast? Well, this is how we do it. They should just be fast and professional each and every time. Um, and they should uh, they should uh, quote the move accordingly. Me personally, um, I, I don't mind putting them bringing all the furniture on the truck and then blanking the stuff up on the truck for a local move. I think that's that's totally fine, but even then, the the furniture. If you're gonna blanket the furniture, the furniture should be completely blanketed, no matter one way or the other, right? D does that mean you have to, you know, all around the all sides should be blanketed? No, the the bottom of it doesn't need to be blanketed, but the sides and the front specifically should. The backs are usually fine. You can usually kind of keep that open because the backs are gonna go up against the wall and it's useless right uh so it's not that matter but the sides and the front from top to the floor should be blanketed to protect from any kind of scratches all right other than that these guys seem to and when you pack a truck the truck should be stacked appropriately i don't care if you've got more than enough truck if you got you know that stuff should have been put in there nice and neatly and scrapped down there is no excuse for that not to be done there neatly and professionally because when you open it up and the customer sees it, it doesn't matter. It's about the perception of the customer. And if they see it and the things are all in disarray, they're going to start looking now for things that are damaged. They're going to start seeing and looking at every nook and cranny. That means your guys aren't going to get tipped. That means you're probably going to get any little scratch is going to get blamed on you, even if the scratch was on the furniture in the first place. You're going to get blamed for it. And you know what? You deserve it. So don't have uh, options. Just don't do it. Uh, my recommendation to this movie company is get rid of the option to just have your A option or just your B option um, and just work from there. All right. It's, it, it's a matter of perception. There should be no difference, right? Um, the look, guys look like they knew what they're doing and hauling around. And I've seen a couple of the other videos. They look like they know what they're doing. This just was not a great representation and they put a video up saying hey this is our standard but that standard looks horrible every professional mover that i look uh would just be horrified at this um and that's what i'm saying don't do that all right again i'm not trying to pick on shirtless movers uh you know i'm not saying that they're bad movers the rogue movers or the scam movers or anything like that just this one video shows things that are not up to snuff in my particular opinion so with that said, let's take some, let's take a little few moments to show what, um, what, oh, by the way, and that is my, my family. That's Diddy right here. And this is Marty and this is pretty girl. And, uh, that's a rarity that they get caught on the bed all at the same time because the, the kitty doesn't like the dogs too much. Well, uh, Marty anyway, anyway, I want to show you some pictures of how a, a truck should be stacked and packed. Okay. Um, here's a here's a here's a, a picture of a well-packed uh, truck. See, top to bottom. See, this is the back of a piano. The back doesn't need to be covered with, um, does not need to be covered with uh, blankets. Why? Because it's the back. And, and if it does get a little scratch, it doesn't matter. Um, ideally, you would cover it if you're really doing. But look at how it's, this is done. This is how your stuff should be done. I don't really like the plastic wrap, but some customers, they demand it. And it does kind of help the, the blanket stay on the furniture. But notice how everything is done professionally. It looks well wrapped. It looks like it's Christmas pa packaged. Okay, that's one, one idea. Here's another option. See, top to bottom, no holes. Everything's in there. Um, everything's secured and, and sorted. It's tightly packed. It's not going to shift around. Um, everything's up to the tiers. 
um, so on and so forth. Let's go to the next one. Here we go, a bunch of boxes. Again, everything's tiered up. You know, it's all the top to the bottom, no holes, side to side pack completely. Well done. Here's another option. It, it, again, every, no holes, side to side, top to bottom. This is how a professional movers are, are pack a truck. Each and every time, I don't care if it's long distance, over the road, or local. It should be packaged like this. Now, on a local move, maybe you wouldn't go all, all hog-tied with, the, with the, the rubber bands. I particularly do, um, you, but you don't necessarily have to put the plastic wrap on everything and stuff, but it should be well packed up. It doesn't, you don't necessarily have to put, um, you know, you don't have to put, uh, you know, uh, all the way around the furniture, etc. Um, so let me get you back up here. So that's my idea that, and again, I don't want to pick on shirtless movers because again, they probably are great movers. They probably do a good job. I didn't really go super into them and this wasn't a, a video to slam them, but just to get you an idea of what you should not do. All right. This is an example of how not to be a professional mover. All right. And that's just one example of something that they did. All right. Damage is going to happen, it occurs, but let's do everything in our power to not have it. Let's do everything in our power to help our fellow other movers be professional. We get a bad rap because of all the scammers out there already. We don't need to have any more reason for people to hate movers, okay? Let's start policing ourselves. And the way we do that is we start with ourselves and make sure our job is done professionally each and every time. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Yay, share this with all your family and friends. And, of course, subscribe to my channel. All right, don't forget, guys, I'm starting out with an Insiders Mastermind group here on Monday. So be on the lookout for that. That will be on thing. I'll give a 24-hour option where you can join up for the Mastermind group free of charge. And we're going to have a lot of uh, benefits, far more stuff than I'm giving to you here now, uh, more, more, uh, more trainings, more in-depth trainings, etc., um, you're going to get a lot of options. You're going to get personal one-on-ones with me, Q&As with me, um, and so on and so forth. All right, guys. So um, I bid you adieu. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right? Bye-bye.